Let's get another salmon fly in. I haven't done a hair wing yet. Um, what I'm going to do is out of this book right here. This is this is an awesome book. Really, really, really good. If you can if you can find it, pick it up. Uh, just make sure it's going to be a little tricky. There's one book uh, from from Bates that has like a similar name, but it's not this book. So make sure you you double check what you're getting here. This is this is the one you want. It's incredible, uh, and this is the fly we're going to tie. And th this fly, I would say, is is very unique uh, as far as salmon flies are concerned. You can see the length of it, but also the gap. Usually on a on a salmon fly, you'd see something this long would have a gap. Shoot, man, down here. But it's a hair wing, so it's really kind of tied on a streamer hook. Um, and that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it on. I'm not gonna do it on a Kerry Stevens. I'm gonna do it on an old hook, uh, an old cock, an old old cock hook, which happens to be just a hair shorter than one of those 10x Kerry Stevens streamer hooks, uh, which is this is the hook right here that I'm gonna use. But uh, this is this 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 is definitely unique. Obviously, it's unique. It's got the two eyes. Um, but it's really the hook that kind of makes it different, and, and it's hard to tell, but there's also uh, crest in here, and the, the recipe says three crests, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I mean, it's three different types of deer hair, bucktail, and three crests, that's, uh, that's serious, and two, two throats, it's, a, it's, it's, it's big, it's big, it's a big fly, but I think we make it work. And I have all the materials except the silver, uh, yeah, right, I don't have, I don't have the silver lace. Uh, instead of using that lace, I'm going to use this embossed oval. It's got some texture to it, so that's good, but, I mean, it's not lace, but it's, 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 it's about the next best thing, I think. So we're going to be using, I've never used this thread before, but it's a flat 6.0 thread by a company called Superfly. I call this 6.0, but I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't really look 6.0, but that's what they say it is, so maybe they're just talking about strength. And I really should use a 3.0, I and mean, this is like a football field's length of a shank here to cover. But, um, but this is what we're going to go with, it's just something... Something different to try is using this thread. Man, look at this thing bent. Alright, I'll see you in like, you know, 10 minutes after I cover this thing up. Alright, I think, I think we're going to stop right there. These things, they have a long, so obviously you can see how long this barb is. And if you, if you say, oh, I'm going to make the tag from the, from the inside of the barb to the outside, it's really just going to be too long, so you got to be careful. So I'm starting in from the barb. And I'm using... The tag is this, uh, this tinsel here is what I'm using, this French tinsel. You want a small one, I don't have anything small in this, but I think it's going to be okay. Let's go back. That's good. I think this will be alright. Make sure it's protected. With a drop of super glue there. And we'll turn it on. I think. This should work okay. I think four turns will be all right. Four or three. Let's look at this. Yeah, I think this is all right. Catching it underneath. There we go. 
All right, now it's also some red, red floss. This happens to be silk. If I can find the end of it, I'll use it. because just pulling on this can just just tear it apart and we've got to make sure we don't hit the point of the hook. Let's make sure we got it touching. Yes we do. Silk really wraps good, that is for sure. All right, the tail is crest. I got three here. Pretty sure that should be enough, but I mean, you never know. This thing is so huge. Let me see now how long. We don't want to make it too short. So we'll put this on and take a look. Twice as long as the gap should be good. That's all right. And let's cut it. Now, pearl. This white thread shows up black. Under the hurl, just in case. Because it can peek through. Just makes it a little bit fuller too. So hurl, I'm gonna use like a normal size hurl instead of a mini hurl. I would use mini hurl, but in this particular case, this thing is so gigantic that I think it would look silly. Uh, as a mini hurl. Let's see if I can get this thing to turn right. I may have to go the opposite way. There we go. Alright, so. Let's get this. Yeah, this this is the right size for sure. Now we need the, in this case, the embossed oval. We need a good amount, that's for sure. This thing's going all the way up. So don't be don't be stupid and take off a small amount. I'm taking off a, a giant piece. And the same thing with the with the flat. 
taking up a giant piece. And this is a yeah, this is a large that I'm using. So the embossed is going to go on second. Well, it's going to get turned on second. So we need to tie it on first. And then the flat. If you cut the point into a, if you cut the end into a point, it makes that first turn look a lot nicer. Gives it a little bit of a taper. So if you see, if you notice, I'm actually I don't like that. So something I did that was a mistake here is, is that this embossed needs to be right it needs to do the, the the waist end needs to be in line with where the floss is going to be in because if not this is going to be a weird step there we go much better flat tinsel doesn't matter really because you're not I mean, it's so thin that it's it's just going to blend in I want to make sure that's underneath All right. Now, if you notice, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't tie these in right up against the hurl. It's hard to tell, but I left a good and sixteenth of an inch, and that's because when I turn this floss in, I'm going to move these tensils away and go behind it and then go back. The reason I'm going to do that is because I don't want it to make that first turn right up against the hurl. That's just something that, that I do that I like. Um, some people do, don't do it that way, some people do, I don't know, but that's the way I like it. Makes it a little little bit more annoying to tie, but but I I think it's I think I think it's worth it. Okay. So we got our yellow Floss. This is four strand floss. I'm just using one, and it's important that you're putting on floss, and it's going to be bigger than the red, which I think it will be. back and then we're going to go forward. Now this is where it gets tricky, especially considering these things are like freaking a hundred feet long. Let's bring it over move these out of the way. You also got to be careful you don't catch the floss on the um, the tinsel because that will really mesh up. And then as you bring it across that's when you go back over and you bring these up. Bring these back and you bring the floss up. There we go. The floss jumps, don't worry. It just jumped on me. That's okay. I'll just bring it back. It happens when you're maneuvering that that tinsel. Alright. So, the body is sealed. Uh, the recipe says golden yellow for the first part, which goes to about here, and then it's like red, and then it's blue. Something like that. Now, golden yellow. Golden yellow sounds like yellow, but it also sounds like orange. And I have an orange sub. 
that seems to match the color. But I don't have a seal that matches the color exactly, so I think I might use this. It doesn't seem like it's that much. It's like really only about this much. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it on and and um, if not, I can use this to seal yellow. Which is just yellow. It's not golden yellow. Golden yellow sounds like orange to me. Let's use the goat, even though I don't want to. I think the strands are too long. Maybe I'll just cut it in half. This stuff is really long. Or just cut it in half. I don't know about this goat. I just don't know. Okay. All right. I think it might be a little too thin though. Let's go back. That's a little bit better. Okay, so the hackle we're putting in is this red hackle. It, um, if you pull all the fibers out, and, and you're going to really see that you know the length of it and I think that's gonna be okay We've got to tie it in at the tip and I thought about using a second one two of them but I don't know I don't think it's gonna look right because you always got to worry about there being the two stems following up the tinsel now uh, red red seal that I have Right there. So. This is looking like orange. What in the world is going on here? Nah. It's orangey, but it's also red too. It's darker than that other one, so that's good. Could be a little bit redder. Okay, now the last is blue, and I really have struggled with this. Um, I got so many blues, it's ridiculous. Uh, I got this one, I got this sort of purpley one, I got this tealish one, I got another one that's close to teal. Um, I think this is too purpley, and I think this is too teal, so I think I'm going with this one. It's very dark blue. Um, it's really dark. I don't know. I think they just used, honestly, I feel like they just used black. I mean, I'm looking at it, I really, and you can barely tell, but I really do feel like they used black. But it says blue in the recipe, so. Um, we're going blue. I'll tell you right now, I think black would probably look better. Yeah. Okay. 
we got so much stuff to put in. And we need enough room. I think, I think that should be okay. All right, so the first thing we're gonna bring up is this flat. supposed to be. It's supposed to be barely a turn on this the second turn here yeah, like that. And then a turn orange and then this one it's just getting up there. Okay. This one should have a second one. We know how long it needs to be. I'm not going to cut it off totally. I'm just going to cut it there for now. If we have to go back, we can. We have enough there, but it's not going to get in my way. Now, let's make sure this, this has got to go on the left-hand side. catch any of these red fibers in there. just got to make sure that you get that that second tinsel right on right on top of that flat one because if not you'll never get it on there once it's once it's on it's on you'll never get it off the 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 seal That's good. And now let's let's bring this around. sure we're in. Yeah. No, 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 we're not there. We're not there. Oh, jeez. Oof, we almost had an incident. We almost had an incident. I think, I think we got it. I think we got it here. And I'm going to make a few turns because there's supposed to be red in the throat, like a good amount. So.
Okay. All right, we're going to switch the black. I'm going to switch the Uni Edo. Um, normally I'm using the Giorgio Benici, but because I got to put so much freaking bucktail on this thing, I'm a little bit nervous to use the the 12 -0. I'm going to be using this, this orange bucktail and this red bucktail right here. Um, this thing is a quarter red, a quarter orange, and a half yellow. Uh, and I, I can't stress this enough. Do not use a lot. I mean, just, just don't. If you use a lot, it's going to be a disaster. And um, you don't need that that kind of stress in your life, I'm telling you. So take off a little bit of red. I mean, that's literally what I'm using. If I gotta add more, I will. I will. Um, I'm just gonna try and line up. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Alright. Oops, nope. So we're going to put it on like that, cut it like this, just got one turn on just to hold it there. on the top. Yes, now if you just hold this thread with a little crease it'll bring it down lower. There we go. Okay, so let's get the yellow. A little bit more. I have some on the desk now, but I'm going to get a little bit more. Is this too much? Is this too much? It might be a hair too much. I'm gonna remember we're gonna be putting on a whole bunch of crests too, which is gonna add to this yellow, the look of the yellow, so. So, eyes. Um, there's two sets of eyes. The first one is kind of comes into about the middle. Um, so, right around here, somewhere. So let's take it and we'll, I think I want to bring them down. I mean, the front's down and the eyes up. It is so much easier when the fluff is on. Okay. 
this one seems like it needs to be just a hair longer, not much. It's easy to go back. Okay, so let's System left. The next part is I think I need to put on the teal. Mm. I think it needs some more red too. Okay, let's get some more red. Pushing the, the stem down with my nail, like flattening it. I think we just need. Alright, so the next part of this throat is this teal right here, so I'm going to take it off. Um, normally I like to turn it on, but I'll tell you, just to save some space, I'm going to just put it on. I like just, you know, lining them up and tearing them off. Just pinch and loop. Put your nail in there. Just give it a little squeeze. Getting this bucktail to lay flat is very difficult to do. Uh, you really got to work it and. You can't do what you do in a hollow, hollow tie, you run it under water, warm water, and you really slick it down, and then you hang dry it. I'm not running this thing under water. So it's a little bit uh, tricky. you got to really crease the hell out of it. you got to run your nail over it. Like, for instance, you just take this, like this, and bring your nail underneath here, and try and put a curve into it. I'm just using some, some old Wonder Wax here, but I also have an old uh, Reed Creek flat tying wax here. So it looks like this. It's hard as a rock though, I mean you really gotta warm it up to get it to work. This is some heavy duty stuff, uh, for sure. And I don't, I like it, but not as much as the, the Wonder Wax. They make this now again. I think it's the same thing. I don't think there's any difference between the, this old one. Like, this is a really old one. Um, it's really old, actually. It's, it's almost done. But, um, 
I don't think there's any difference between this and the and and the new stuff. I think it's the same exact stuff. All right. So let's do let's do the crests and then let's do that last set of eyes. So it says three. You know, I think we can do three. So to do three, you're not going to do one on top of the other. You're going to do one on your side, and then one on my side, and then one really good one in the middle. yellowy. I think also that the yellow bucktail might be coming down on your side. Let's see what it looks like. Let me go back. Take this one off. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's better. I think the I think the yellow was just it's just a little bit creeping onto your side. We don't see that color change. So that's two crests. I don't know. I think two crests is better. I'm trying to cheat here, but I tell you, I don't know. It feels better. Alright, let's get these tied in. I think I'm just going to go with the two. So let's get that second set of eyes on. The second set of eyes really should be... There's a little dot right there. See, see that you got the eye and then you have that next dot. You should really make... Yeah. I'm trying to make like a, a third dot, I think. That's what it looks like in the picture. They're making like a third dot. So yeah, that's a little tricky, but I think I I think I got the right ones. You need a good size eye, but you also need a short eye. So you're taking off most of it here. I'm gonna put these on one at a time just so I can get a good look at it. I think this is tricky. Let's take this stem off. Yeah. 
that should be okay. Now let's get this one. That's all right. Okay. Well, let's go down and clean this this head up. wasn't attached, no wonder you can't clip it off. It was just, it's just stuck. <laughs> Stupid. I'm trying to clip it, I'm spending like, you know, five minutes trying to clip it, wondering why it's not clipping. Yeah, it's looking good. I like that it's it's definitely low enough for me personally. Um, yeah, I think it's low enough. It just took a long time to really work that bucktail to get it to get it right. Yeah, man, this thing is such a huge fly. Yeah, Lord Mayor of London. Unique fly, that is for sure. Monster of a fly. <laughs> the uh, in fact, you know what? Let me go and grab a, a, a an eight o hook. I think it's an eight o hook. Let's see here. Oh, here it is. So this is a John John Bonacera reworked. This is an eight o. It's like an eight o. Or maybe even a 9-0. Let's call it an 8-0 for now. I mean, this is a big hook. And as far as length is concerned, it's very close. So this thing is probably considered like a 6-0 in the salmon fly world, like as far as length is concerned. Yeah, I would say a 6-0. These, these hooks right here, this one that John makes is just unbelievable. I've tied a mm, couple flies on, on these hooks. A uh, katana and a tibet witch. Those are the two. John actually has them. Um, Alright, so, so yeah, so it's a big fly, really big fly. Monster of a fly. And, but it's definitely cool. I like it. This is my first real, like, you know, like, big uh, hair wing. I don't tie hair wings ever. I mean, obviously I put deer, deer hair in streamers, but as far as something that would be considered a salmon fly, this is, is, uh, is the first one. I think it's okay. I think it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Side again. All right, Lord Mayor of London on an allcock. I don't know some 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 big allcock, probably a 10x or an 8x or something. Vintage hook. All right, thanks.